Damn. The Challenge in Orbit, Cormodir. The Ibera is gone, Uncle. Ostergard can't help you. And you have no more cards to play. For the good of our people, you must end this. Order your troops to stand down. Our people? That's what you've always been about, you know. Had you only listened to me, I never would have taken your throne. I didn't desire power for its own sake. My only care was for the Reach, its prosperity, its enduring glory. And yet you reached for that glory on the backs of our people. This thing that you've built, it isn't who we are. Your directorate has fallen, uncle. Clinging to it will not help the Reach. Nothing will help the Reach, not anymore. The war has doomed us all. The realm bleeds, Kamea. We're weaker now than we've ever been, and soon enough the sharks will begin to circle. Save it. You sanctioned massive Montgomery's deaths. I owe you a bullet for that. You cannot kill me, mercenary. If you do, you'll turn me into a martyr, and the Reach will never, ever be at peace. Kamea, listen to me. Cormodir is yours. I will stand down, but you must take me alive. The realm will tear itself apart if you don't. No! Father, you cannot do this. The Reach depends on the Directorate for survival. For glory! You told me yourself that if we fall, the realm will die. The Directorate has already fallen, Victoria. We've lost. Continuing to fight will only cost more lives. Cost lives? Cost lives?! You ordered me to kill 11,000 people on perdition, and now you care about bloodshed? There is an ocean of blood on my hands, Father. I spilled it because you told me it was necessary. And it was. But our gambit has failed. It's over, Victoria. I know that's hard for you to accept, but you must stand down. No, Father. You may have gone craven, but I am a mech warrior. I will die before I concede defeat. You want this world, Kamea? Come and fight me for it. Your lance against mine. At the tourney grounds. The contest that was denied us. You and me. To the death. For the reach. Aren't you tired of death yet, cousin? Was the Perdition Massacre not enough for you? I did that for the reach. For our people. It was my responsibility. I didn't have a choice. But you don't understand. And you never will. And so, I will make things easy for you. You don't have to understand why I've done the things I've done. You need only face me in the arena, where I will best you as I always have, as I was trained to do. You will give me what I want, or your dear Alexander will pay the price. My father was too weak to kill him, but I am not. Accept my challenge, Kamea. Accept it, or I will grind him to a pulp beneath my battle mech's foot. Grizzly? Whoa! That's, a, that's an interesting threat. I almost pity you. You'll have your fight, Victoria. And yours will be the last blood that I spill in this war. Prepare your mech warriors, mother lover. When I face my cousin in the arena, I want your company by my side. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. Raju Montgomery will be avenged. This one's for you, Raju! May his training, training see us through. Have your lance meet me at the tourney grounds. It's long past time that we brought this war to a close. That mech you wanted is back online. Got a Battlemaster 1G. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Got a Banshee 3M. Good speed, average armor. Very poor heat management. Okay, so Battlemaster 1G we already have. Let's straight up scrap that for cash. Banshee 3CM. We already have the 3CE. Uh, hmm. I'm just going to put it in storage, I think. Heat efficiency is high. It says its average range is close. Yeah, just storage it. Here we go. Okay. Who do we take? I said I would take Decker. 
I don't know why that seems like such a stupid idea. <laughs> We're definitely taking this atlas. Let's put Mother Leva in the atlas. Let's put Behemoth in the Highlander. I said I would bring Decker. Two PPCs and two M lasers. Is that it? Battlemaster is not bad. Uh, we do have that other stalker that's all long range 60 LRMs with a TTS. That might be worth it. Keep him in the back. Let the other two fight in the front. Be a shame to leave Glitch behind, but what are you going to do? Alright, let's go. Don't die, Decker. Is this the finale? I think so. We're going after Victoria. Okay, our objectives. In part two of our priority mission, Coral Madeira. This one's for all the marbles. Hi, it's Rudy. Welcome back, Mech Warriors, to Battletech. Our objectives face Lady Victoria Espinosa in a duel to the death. Recover Lord Alexander Madeira. Lady Kamea must survive. Victoria has Lord Madeira, and she will never stand down. What she did on Perdition has broken her, and now we're going to end this in the way that was so, so, it knew it so nearly began, a duel. I will face off against my cousin in the Arano Tourney Grounds, and we will fight until one of us is dead. Lady Arano said it all, Rudy. Go get justice for Raju Montgomery and Commander Markham and everyone else who died at the hands of House Espinoza. We'll be watching you from here. Yeah, sounds like you, Darius. Command interface initiated. Incoming transmission. Victoria, I need you to listen to me. The Directorate has fallen, our armies have been routed, and even as I speak, Restoration Forces are closing in on Cordia City. If you kill your cousin now, the entire Reach will fall into anarchy. And if Kamea wins, the Reach is doomed anyway. You've been telling me that for years now. Was it all a lie, Father? Victoria, this is not the time for a debate. You will attend to my words and obey me as you always have. I order you to stand down for the good of the Reach. The Directorate is the Reach. Father, and I will never stop fighting for it, wallowing your cowardice. I will win this war in spite of you. She's cut the line. You're going to have to put her in the ground, Lady Arano. She's too far gone to e for this to end any other way. If that is her choice, then so be it. I'll do whatever I must to save Lord Madeira. Fall in on me, Beck Warriors. We have one more wrong to right. Aw, oh, yeah. Here we go. It's going down. Is this the arena? Cool. I guess people would normally be in the stands. Which means that we can also be in the stands. Receiving you. All right, let's move Decker up here. So we got some water in the middle. Got some cover around the outside. Moving to position. No enemy targets. Interesting. Why does it show many so many dots if I can't move that far? I'm moving out. On the move. I'm gonna flank here with Mother Lava. Split the two atlases up. Waiting for orders. 
six hundred. So basically, ten full volleys of that LRM fifteen nonsense we got going on over there, which is cool. And she's set up with the uh, standard setup with the AC twenty. What, what am I doing here? Work with me, camera. Ah, there we go. Wrong button. That's why it was going the opposite direction. I wanted it to. Here we go. Come at me. Affirmative. We've got company. Couple of unknown mechs. Roger that. The stalker here to put him everybody in range. To store Victoria's lance, Kamea must survive. It took you long enough, Kamea. I was beginning to wonder if you'd turn tail and run. It wouldn't have been the first time. What have we got? A cataphract. Is that a king crab? Jager mech. Awesome. I'm here for you, Victoria. And the justice of House Arano rides with me. How poetic. I have no justice for you, Kamea. No flowery words. Only pain and death and humiliation. With Lord Madeira as your audience. Let him go, Victoria. Now. Quit wasting your breath. We've both waited for this long enough. Come to me, cousin. Let's finish this. That is a king crab. What's up, boss? Waiting for orders. Let's mark this 70 ton. That's the cataphract. Decker, you like to move, so let's move over here. Location confirmed. Yeah, let's go precision strike. Let's save our precision strikes. Let's just uh, let's just introduce them to sixty LRMs. No. There goes his evasion. Come closer, dear cousin. Come closer. Oh, I wasn't doing the accent this whole time. bad Enemy mech. Critical damage. good starts on the cataphract you have my attention yes I hear you sounds good I'm moving okay all right, Kamea. If you can end that cataphract, I'd be happy. Got the hit with the AC-20. All right. Got the unsteady. Didn't get a knockdown. Whoa, what is that? They've got Star League weaponry too. Heavy hit. Ready for orders. Engaging. That's a knockdown for sure. That hit something good. No? <laughs> wow. Lame. I should have moved him. Okay, they're just going to focus down on Kamea. I'm going to have to play this a little differently. But luckily I do have the flank. Let's 
Let's move to here. I think the cataphract is probably the bigger threat. Targeting for an alpha strike. This with the Gauss rifle, of course. Right torso, right arm, knocked down. Reporting critical hit. Maybe I should have precision strike. Send your landmates to me, Kamea. And watch. Yeah, here comes that King Crab. I can't quite get a shot on me because of the way we're positioned. I like that. Also can't get into cover here. I'm just gonna take the shot and then move. Okay, one down. Very nice. Move back into cover here. Keep the pressure on with our flank. We're going to have to start precision striking Victoria as soon as we get shots on her. Maybe give somebody a vigilance Can't here. Much more of this. Standing by. Location confirmed. Since she seems to be the, their main target, we'll give her a vigilance, and then we'll bombard this Jager back. Pilot injured. Inflicting heavy damage. One more good shot on him, and I bet you he's done. Yep. Always move Decker with the evasion. I'm under heavy fire. Reading you loud and clear. Command gets to go again. Right arm gone. Right torso. Ah, uh, not quite enough. Pierced through the armor. Commander. Decker should have the finish here. Don't know if I really want to have him in the front with that king crab getting there. Aye aye. Uh, let's cut it down to just one LRM. Knockdown. That hit something good. All right, got the knockdown. Receiving you. Could finish the Jager mech. Aye, aye. I'm going to start the awesome off. Here with Behemoth, and then Mother Lava can move up on him next. Cover helps a bit, but only a bit. Losing lots of armor. All right, moving up here for the flank. We'll continue this across the water, probably. I probably should save it for uh, for Victoria. But I'm just going to shoot this awesome's head off. Don't mind me. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Great. Enemy destroyed. Fire and steel. Is that your battle cry? Oh, damn. Devastating blow? Devastating blow. Yep. 
You're as much of a victim as you are a murderer, Victoria. Your father raised you to kill in his name. And you are a fool. Your father raised you to believe that you were the hero of some ridiculous fairy tale. And you still believe it, even now. I don't know what I believe anymore, but this madness must end. And if you won't stop it, I will. Good to go. Alright, I'm going to move Decker back here. Uh, facings on the left look look a little bad. All right, let's. Um, oh, I don't like that. Move order received. Let's back up here. Could sensor lock her, or I could just hit her with a bunch of crap. Let's sensor lock because the percentages are so low. Got a lock. I'm listening. Alright, can we have move to here? For the restoration. Let's uh cooling vent. Precision strike. I'm on it. Shoot that king crab right in the head. Such a cool looking mech though. Okay, Behemoth, I don't think you can still Precision Strike, so I want you... Uh, just end the Jager mech. That's a kill. Sure is. Oh, here she comes. She wants to play. Yo! Superheated plasma. I haven't even seen this stuff. Unbelievable. I want that king crab. Glad to hear it. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's, um, how are we doing anyway? Yeah, we're okay, mostly armor damage. Let's go precision strike here with the Goss rifle. Taking a shot. Well, maybe we can't get that lucky. Uh, I'm just gonna shift here because I can. I'm gonna take another precision strike here. Face. Firing all weapons. That not a knockdown? Oh no, it's not. Okay, now we're overheated. And we're shut down. Lovely. Armor breach. Engine critical. Shutting down. Let's hit the water. Tell me what you need. I need you to take her attention. That's what I need you to do. I'm coming for you, cousin. The directorate dies today. Shut down alert, eh? I'm on it. Flamer crit. AC 20 crit. Critical strike. Got the knockdown. Pilot injured. Your father has already surrendered, Victoria. Your cause is lost. Get that mech restarted. I will never stand down. Let's keep moving back here with the stalker. Ordinate Long defeat. range. We're gonna shut down, eh? Take all the lasers out of it. 
Still got tons of armor. And pulse crit. Try not to destroy all their great weapons. And she's up. You gonna shoot at the Highlander? I'd really rather you didn't. Nope. Okay, engine's critical. I'm shutting. You have my attention. Ready yeah, to get fight. that restart off, Mother Lava. This is all you, bud. Atlas does not move fast through the water. You're gonna pop him. Left torso, left arm. Pilot injured. Damn, should have gone for it. Orders. All right, let's I jump back it. into the water here. Let's go vigilance. Given everything I've been Boom! All of his deaths, the coup, perdition, mastiff, all of it for nothing. It was always for nothing, Victoria. The Directorate was never going to be the return to glory that your father promised. I know, cousin, I... I know. Our fathers lied to us. There is no future for the Reach. <coughs> you are the hero of nothing, cousin. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Victoria. You left me no choice. But make no mistake. Justice has been served here today. I am the Sword of Restoration. And Cormadir is free. Is that it? Mission successful. Nice. It wasn't so bad. I think we wrecked that king crab, though. More talking, right? Four million. Oh, no more talking. Repairs on three mechs. Oh, no. No, no, no. We blew it to smithereens. Ah, come on. All right, I'll take the cataphracts. Take the pieces of this awesome. That's a full awesome. Full cataphracts. I don't really care about the Jager mech. TTS, it's not that worth that much. And we didn't get the King Crab? Man, I'm disappointed by that. I do want that TTS. Does it weigh anything? Two tons. Wow. Confirm. I already have the awesome 8T, I think. Or is that the one that has the rockets on the shoulders? I can't remember. The one with the missiles, I think, is the superior awesome, in my opinion. A hero forged. I thought you were dead. I began this restoration because my birthright was stolen. And I wanted it back. Not for the people of the Reach, but because it was mine. I wanted war for all the wrong reasons. But on Weldry, I traded that naivete for nobler purpose. Seeing my people suffering with my own eyes taught me why I must fight. On our true. I found humility. Blinded by righteousness, I was reckless in my pursuit of power. And it almost cost us the war.
on Galdra. I learned to steal my heart. I chose necessity over conscience. A choice that nearly broke me. Finally, on Koromadir, the world of my birth, I found resolve. And standing over my cousin's broken body, victory. Only through these lessons, paid for in blood, did I become a ruler worthy of title. Hey, we saved him. A high lady prepared to sit the Cormorant throne, the protector of Koromadir, the Sword of Restoration. But this question still plagues me. Am I a hero? Did I sacrifice too much at the altar of victory? Do my triumphs outweigh my mistakes? War is a clash between conscience and necessity. An ocean of chaos and bloody compromise. War shapes history. And history chooses its heroes. As for you, mercenary, you made the liberation of the Oregon Reach a reality. Every trial I faced would have been my last without your skill on the battlefield. Oh, it was nothing. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it. Money, mostly. For belief in my cause or just my money. Mostly money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind. Mercenary mind. Your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you believe it. Because others do. As I believed in the heroes of my father's stories. After all, when we are gone, Stories are what remain. So about that king crab that Victoria had, though? Like, is that available? Could I have it? I think... That's the finale, guys. Time for credits and... Pictures of the guys from Hairbrain Schemes. Epilogue. In orbit. Coromadir. Rudy, Darius, Sumeri, Yang, Farah. Through your courage, skill, and sacrifice, the Reach has been saved and I have reclaimed my throne. Without any one of you, our campaign would have ended in tragedy. I can never adequately repay you for your service to the Reach. I owe you a great debt as well. Without your company's help, I would be dead. I consider it a great honor to call you my friends. Uh, if you're ever tired of politics, you're always welcome on our crew. A compelling offer, Commander Mother Lover. I'll keep it in mind. It's a new era for the Reach, and I have your company to thank for it. The Directorate has fallen, Victoria is dead, and my uncle is in chains. You should have let me kill him. The thought had crossed my mind, but Lord Madeira convinced me otherwise. With the Reach in a fragile stage as it is, we can't risk making a martyr of him. Don't worry, though. He'll receive his taste of justice soon enough. What did you do with him? Consider my curiosity, Pete. We've handed him over to Prorector Thomas Calderon to be tried as the mastermind of the Perdition Massacre. His war crimes tribunal is, a, is being assembled as we speak. The Torians were quite appreciative of the gesture. I'm sure they were. And that's the last we'll hear of the director Espinoza. He brought his fate upon himself. I'm afraid that our time is growing short, Mother Lover. We have a great deal of work to do if we're going to recover from this war. But if you have any final questions before we move on to the subject of your pay, I'll be happy to hear them. 
Before we talk money, I'd like to hear your, what's next for the restoration. After all, all we've been through, I feel invested in your success. I was wondering the same thing. I mean, you've retaken your throne, and that's wonderful, but the Reach is in ruins. How are you planning to rebuild? Slowly, and with great caution. We can't afford to spread ourselves too thin, but neither can we leave our more marginal systems hanging. In the short term, we're going to need us to secure funding and support from sources from outside the Reach. The economy of the older Regan Coalition is all but destroyed, and our infrastructure is in extremely poor shape. How do you intend on going about getting that support? However we can. Political marriages will be invaluable, our sovereignty is our greatest asset, and I'm still thinking through ways of, to capitalize on it. We'll have difficult times ahead to be sure, but we will weather them, Commander Mother Lover. The Reach is nothing if not resilient. And now, Mother Lover, we should move on to discuss your company's compensation. You've certainly earned it. For your exemplary work both on and off the battlefield, your financial debts are now forgiven. Those were the terms of our arrangement, but you deserve a little more than that, I think. Is it a king crab? From this moment forward, the Argo is yours. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. I relinquish her into your control. You may consider her a bonus for a job well done. Well, I did pay for all the repairs on her, so... Uh, yeah, thanks. As a second token of my appreciation, it's on its way to your mech bay now, Mother Leva. Please accept it with my compliments. I don't often get overpaid by my clients. I could get used to it. I'm sure you could. And with that, Mother Love, I'm afraid that I must return to matters of state. My people need me, and I must get back to helping where I can. You will always be remembered as my friends of the Reach, every one of you. Goodbye, Kamea. Rule wisely and well. Make Raju Montgomery proud. I'll try, Mother Love, believe me. I'll try. Farewell, my friends. I wish you success in your adventures to come. The image on the view screen flickers and dies. Lady Arana was gone. I guess that's it. Our contract with Lady Arana is over, but the Argo is ours, and we're free to do whatever we please. Man, it feels weird saying that. We can do whatever we want, and we're not beholden to anybody. It's a pretty sweet feeling, I gotta say. So, uh, who else wants to, uh, go find some new trouble to get into? Peacetime is beautiful and all, but I'm starting to feel a little stale in here. I'm game if you are. Trouble is our business, after all. And we've got more than enough battle mechs to handle whatever fate throws our way. Whatever fate throws our way, huh? Sounds like a challenge to me. Roger that, Rudy. I'll pull up a fresh back batch of contracts. Take your stations, everybody. Let's go find ourselves a new adventure. Now that the war is over and we're debt-free, we can go anywhere we want on the star map. No more hostile nations or sealed borders to worry about. It feels good, I've got to say. Now that you've reclaimed my throne, the Reach is again at peace. As such, I imagine you're more likely to need this Atlas II than I am. Take it with my compliments, the Mother Lover. You've earned it. Slick. It's got some upgraded weaponry on it. Known as the Atlas II, the DHT model carries more energy weaponry and usually a lighter, more flexible autocannon. It still has unbelievable protection and the same crushing melee ability as other Atlas models. Cool. Yeah, I'll take that. We already have an Atlas. 7D. Uh, I think I'm going to pull the fire starter. We haven't used it. We call the Cataphract a Frankenmech because it's got a little bit of everything stitched together on it. The X1 model works well at medium long range, medium long to closer range, with good armor and weaponry. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. And the Awesome 8T is a superb fire support mech. Though its heavy armor has been wasted in that role, can still put up a good fight at medium ranges, and it can crush smaller units outright with melee attacks. Gonna need to do some repairs. We gotta upgrade our guys. We got a Cataphract now. Let's, uh, let's send the Kentaro to storage. And the 8T. Is that the one we have? No, we got the 8Q. I think the 8T is the cooler one. I'm going to scrap this one. 
11 million. Aw, yeah. Okay. I think this is where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. I guess, um, why don't you let me know in the comments, now that I've done the main story, if you'd still like to watch me play. If that's at all interesting to you. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. If it is, I could probably be talked into a few more um, missions here and there. Now that we've got all these fresh mechs, too. Hang on. Let's go refit here. Now I have to come up with two more tons. So I'm going to pull the M lasers from the arms. Uh, I'm going to put this TTS in here. Instead of this LRM ammo. We've still got 600 rounds with the LRMs. Repair that. We'll see how that goes. Should make them a lot more effective. Highlander, I think, is good to go across the board. Let's go for the repair. Awesome. I'm not sure how moot it is. Here I went out and I hired all these mech warriors I don't need. What can I do for you? Uh, you can you can get fired. Just call us. Receiving you. Uh, maybe you can stick around. Shades, though. Commander. You you gotta go. Bye, Shades. Who else we got? Showdown. He was okay. I guess we'll keep everybody else. Yes, Commander. Training. Up his tactics. Waiting for orders. Behemoth. We'll give her ten guts. Next She's earned it. Complete. Yes, Commander. You didn't die, Decker. You didn't die. Training confirmed, Commander. I'm so proud of you. Waiting on you, Commander. Can't believe you didn't die. Training complete. Standing by. P oh man, you're piloting your tactics is crap. Go tactics, tactics, piloting. Mech warrior training complete. Commander. Training confirmed. Let's give Medusa the bonus to guts because Medusa always likes to get hit. Aye aye. Nothing there. Training complete. We'll max Rudy out, top of the crew. Damn right he is. Awaiting orders. There they are. I think they're there. Yes, boss. All right. Like I said. That's it. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see me keep playing. I don't mind. I wouldn't mind to play. Uh, I got a great crew, some awesome mechs I wouldn't mind trying out. So, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all next time. Tell you no, I don't fuck around. I'm playing every day. That's how you know I don't fuck around Ask your mom, she'll tell you the same